Ukraine-Russia war, the bloodiest war in recent times, has been going on for more than a year. There are important developments about the war every day. There has been a new development in the fight between Ukrainians and Russians. Ukrainian Armed Forces Strategic Communication Center reported that Ukrainian army carried out an important attack. According to Strategic Communication Center, the Ukrainian Armed Forces blew up a Russian command center in Novokokovka. At around 10 local time, the Ukrainian Armed Forces struck a Russian command center in the temporarily occupied Novokokovka, the statement said. Another important piece of information in the report is that the Ukrainian army has liberated more than 40,000 square kilometers since the beginning of the war. This area is larger than the territory of Moldova or about 15 cities such as Moscow, the statement said. Russian army has recently begun to intensively attack the Kupiansk region. Ukrainian Deputy Defense Minister Anna Meliar stated that on her social media account that the main direction of the Russian offensive in the Kupiansk front. Meliar stated that the Russian army has formed attack groups in this region and tried to advance, but they were not successful. Meliar said that the situation is difficult while the Ukrainian defense forces continue to repel the attacks of the Russian army. Mayor said that the Russian army has been launching unsuccessful attacks near Sinkivka in the Kharkiv region for several days. At the same time, Mayor said that the Russian goal in the direction of Kupiansk is to break through the defense of Ukrainian troops and advance directly to Kupiansk. On the bombed front, it is reported that the Ukrainian army continues offensive operations on the southern flank of the city of Bamut. Ukrainian troops have settled in the captured positions. In addition, Melia reported that in the Bamut direction, Russian troops are trying to regain the positions they lost on the outskirts of Klitsivka and in Zaitsevo, pointing out that in southern region, where the Ukrainian counteroffensive is most effective, Ukrainian forces continue offensive operations in the Meldopol and Berdyansk directions, Melia said. Our troops have achieved partial successes in Urechne, Britney and Verbovi directions. They are currently settling in the capture positions. What do you think about the developments? Do you think the Ukrainian army's counteroffensive is as effective as expected? How do you interpret the developments of the front line? We are waiting for your opinions. Also, for more news, continue by clicking on our video on the top right.